feeling sideways. Okay, now we're going to start doing some deep meditation. The technique is called uh, microcosmic orbit. So the question is that, what is that? What is so micro about it? Is there a macro? And the answer is yes, there is both a micro and a macro. The name actually came from the Chinese astronomer when they start to observe the galaxy, the rotating bodies, the Earth, the Jupiter, and the Moon and the Sun. They long before Galileo, they they were convinced that uh, the Earth is not flat. In fact, they never thought that the Earth was flat. They knew that everything had to be round, and so they understand that. The Earth actually rotates on its own axis. They call that the microcosmic orbit. And then the Earth rotates around the Sun. They call that the macrocosmic orbit. And so later on, when they discovered that the human body also has a magnetic field, they call this one the microcosmic orbit, which is the energy field that goes from the back of your spine all the way up to the top of the head and come down, all the way down to that one energy point which is between your reproductive organ and the opening of, of your bowel, okay? Now, they actually divide that into two. There's one that starts at the very bottom, goes all the way up to the bottom of your lip, and then there's another one that starts in the middle, goes all the way back. And the translation is that this is called a conception vessel, and this is one called a governing vessel. And Josh, who is a troublemaker, he says, well, I don't understand why it's called conception, because conception starts when the sperm merge with the, the egg. So I look it up. It should not be uh, translated into conception. It should have been translated into gestation. That's, that's the true meaning of the word. And why is it called gestation? The Chinese believe that this energy line is the first energy line that is developed in the baby when they were in the mother's womb. All 12 of the vital egg organ, six from the fingers, six from the, from the feet, they're divided into yin and yang. Three from the fingers, three from the hand is associated with this gestation of vessel. Six more is in the governing vessel. This is what get developed first. So pregnant women, many of them, as they get pregnant, they have a line in front of them, and then it would disappear when the baby is born. The Chinese believe that that's a reflection of the energy from the baby. So the organs that are associated in the, in the front are all of the vital organs. If they didn't have that, they wouldn't survive inside the womb. The heart, the pericardium, the lung, the liver, the splint, and the kidney. The rest of it is in the back, right? Because the rest of it, they can rely on the mother, the stomach, um, the, the bladder, and all that. So this is actually a very good self-healing technique because we are fixing both our stress and our circulation. The stress comes from what's called the fight or flight mode. This is when we, when our body senses danger. This is an autonomous nervous system. It's, it's, you don't need to do anything. It just, it knows. It senses danger, sends a signal to the adrenal gland, and it starts to put off stress hormone. It only knows how to turn it on. It doesn't know how to turn it off. So modern people are under stress 24-7, and it's the number one cause for all of amen. So when we say self-healing, we're going to work on that. We also have to work on circulation. So first, we have to go back to the posture. This is called the, the seven support point. First one of the feet has to be firmly on the ground. If they're not touching the mat, put a pillow there. Second of the hand, just relax. Third is the spine. Pull up your spine as if somebody's grabbing the hair on top of your head. Pull it all the way up and then relax. Now your spine is supported by the disc, not by the muscle. Next one is open up your shoulder, reveal the gate to the cloud. The next one is you bring the weight of the head back onto your shoulder. You do that by rotating your forehead back until the neck touches the collar 
and then you rotate, you, you, you go back a little bit more. And then now you take your chin and you tuck in, putting some pressure on the vein. Now your eyes looking down, you relax your eye. Next one is that you take the tongue, you take the tip of the tongue and you push it so you can touch the point where the teeth meets the root, the roof because this energy line stops here and then the energy line starts here. There's a gap. You're connecting the electrical circuit with the tongue. So first, we're just going to go back to our deep breathing. When you breathe in, open the stomach. When you breathe out, collapse the stomach. If you need to do some deep breathing, it's perfectly fine. Blow air through your mouth and then collapse the stomach as you blow air and then relax, let the stomach open. So first we're gonna get used to that deep breathing again, using a diaphragm in and out. Mindful of your breath. You're actually massaging your, all your inner organs in addition to generating electricity because the intestines are actually piezoelectric But they're, right now, there's static electricity, so you need to move that. And you move that with your brain by providing a electrical potential. You just have to think it. So what you do is that when you breathe in, you feel the fresh air coming in through your nostril. You want to bring that positive energy all the way up to the top of your head. You feel how you feel. Your head is cooling down a little bit because of the positive energy. As you breathe out, you want to take all your negative energy, all your anger, all your anxiety. You want to remove it from the brain. Let it settle down to the bottom of your stomach. And then again, when you breathe in, just go up. You don't have to do anything. Just go up to the top of your head. Bring your body with you, stretch your spine, open your shoulder, lean back your forehead, tuck in your chin, slightly open your eye, make sure your tip of the tongue is touching the roof of your mouth, and then breathe out, let all that energy go down, all the way down. So if you want, you can think of a lotus pond as you bring up, you want to bring all that positive energy to the top of the pond where there are lotus flowers, beautiful lotus flowers, pure lotus flower, purity. And then as you breathe out, you want to take all the mud, all the debris and let it settle in down, all the way down. And then breathe in, bring it up, bring your body with you. When you breathe out, relax, take away all the debris, let it settle. Sentimentation, that means Zen. That's in, in, in the Sanskrit, that's, that's jhana. Again, up, down, up. Now, in the next three minutes, I want you to, as you go up, I want you to start at the bottom of the spine and then just follow your spine up to the top of your spine, to the neck, to the back of the neck, to the back of the head, all the way up to the top of the head, all the way to the forehead. As you come down, I want you to start at the forehead, go to the bridge of your nose, your lip, your neck, your chest, top of your stomach your belly button, go all the way down to the bottom part of your torso, upper torso, make a 180 degree turn, come back into the bottom of your spine and go up again as you breathe in, take your body with you. Now, trust me on this, just commit yourself to three cycles. After three cycles, you can take a break and then do three more like that, okay? Commit yourself to three. At first, you don't feel anything and then later on, you feel like there's like something fuzzy 
maybe later on like a marshmallow and then later on that becomes a little bit more solid more defined we call this the dragon chasing the pearl the pearl goes up the dragon goes with it the dragon is your mind the pearl is your chi go up to the top let it come down have faith in this okay once you do it just focus on it and do it you find it out you actually don't need to do anything you're now following that chi the chi has a mind of its own now Just commit yourself to three cycles at a time, three cycles, and then take a break and then do three more. Okay, open your eye.